Hi, welcome to Arch Labs Yoda. I have just uh, made a tutorial telling you what the difference is between Arch Labs 4.0 and 4.1. Since that's what we're on, let's put our show keys again. Why? Because Ctrl T is this. We have also Super, Enter, and all kinds of ways to get to the terminal. Super T is not the one, but there are other keys as well. Let's check them out if we want to know any of these key uh, bindings. They're all in here. Okay, so the tutorial is about we want to have VirtualBox on our system and we want to try out Arch Labs ISO. In the meantime, I can explain you what are the procedure is to install Arch Labs in VirtualBox. That's what we're going to do. All is set, meaning there is here and on the GitHub of Eric Dubois, Arch Labs Nemesis. What's this? This will be always the things I'll do after installing the latest Arch Labs. Okay, let's clone this one. You download the zip and then you have it. Of course, I don't have to download it. I have it on my system. So I go to my data and I'm looking, these are all my GitHubs. So this is the one I want. And these are the things we are going to need. So first off, we need this one. All you have to do, and I'm not going to do it all the way, since you can see here the icon, I have already a virtual box. But all you have to do is the following, install, virtual, and then you go ahead and you install it. If that's done, then you go to the, the program here and then you make a new one. So I've already have two machines here, but I'm gonna make a new one with you. So we're gonna make an Arch Labs Yoda. Okay, next. Memory is 16, so I'm gonna give him four. That's more than enough. So I can run multiple virtual machines if I want to. Create, next, dynamically, next, next, next. I'm gonna give him for my tendency is to give 15, but I think you can do with less. Then you go to settings. These are okay. This is okay. I have eight processors. I'm gonna give 50, 50. If you have, if you wanna have multiple virtual machines, you have to be a little bit uh, given two or something like that. Display. 50 50 I'm gonna take just one virtual machine enable 3d and the storage we'll do that later okay here is my storage so here is my id optical drive choose an image there she is it's already there so the 4.1.0 from 4th of june is going to be started so that's easy uh, that's quick i mean uh, installing these things so this is a pop-up screen arch labs and then you just press enter we're not gonna make a, a, a two bits nor an arm uh, kernel if you would ask yourself if we want to do that or will do that so we're sticking to the 64 bits voila that's our pop-up there are two things uh, worth mentioning <laughs> i've made it yesterday the iso incredible already eight available updates that's arch for you welcome to arch labs installer so two things you should uh, know there is the welcome and there is the installer so you just check out what we've done with this little tool it's just pointing you into the right directions where you can ask things and so on so that's that and then uh, words of advice uh, never close it with this one always close it with this one if you want to take a round before installing has something to do with uh, open box and uh, uh, window uh, management and all that so cancel here and then you can restart it later so cancel yes and re restart it later but this here is our hello if you want if you wondered what the little dark icon was so that's that installation installation we choose our language i will choose my personal settings i'm living in brussels he thinks anyway but that's good it's the correct country 
and then Belgium is my keyboard. I tend to erase everything. I never do dual boots. I hear so many complaints and ask questions on the forums. Don't do it guys, just do whatever the installer asks you to do and don't change um, sizes, don't go manual partitioning and stuff like that. If you are an advanced Linux user, go ahead, then you can troubleshoot your problems. Otherwise, just stick to the standard installer for all these distros. Okay, password is in. So I'm gonna call my computer Yoda, and these are all my names and all that. Next, that's all it takes. Now you can sit back and enjoy life, I don't know. It takes about two, three minutes, and then everything is installed. During these two, three minutes, I'll take uh, my time to take a look at what uh, we have here already. And in that, um, well, in that respect, you can have also a kind of what is Arch Labs 4.1 review. We tend to install or start with a 4.11.3.1 Arch kernel. Well, that's fine with me if you want to stick to that, but there is already a newest uh, kernel, which is 4.9 and so on. I think 30 or 31 at the point, this time, point in time. But um, it's up to you if you want to have the latest kernel. Anyway, it's quite important to know that there is a script. Control H is going to show the hidden files. And in the config, in the open box, you'll have scripts. Take a look at these scripts because they matter. They are there for your convenience. Delete the VirtualBox application, if not on VirtualBox. So I'm not going to run this one. Yeah. This is when you install on a hard disk or an SSD. Then all the stuff that's needed now to be able to run the VirtualBox engine here are going to be deleted. If you want to get the latest conkeys, then you have to run this one. This is a conkey. It measures things inside of your computer, the temperature, etc. etc. If you want to have a latest kernel, so 4.11, if you want to have a 4.9, run this one. Do take care if you have the same um, device, SDA, um, so the hard disk name, SSD name in my case. If that's the same, and all, if it is, you can just run it. And then the hard code fixer, we have uh, some stubborn icons, some stubborn engineers, actually, software engineers who have a hard coded path in their icon. So it never changes these icons and you can run that script as well. And then you can uh, change these icons. Auto start is quite important when the computer boots, it's going to do all of this here. What I'll do later on is use Plank. So I'm gonna do it like so, like this, so, and like so. So I want the Plank, I want the, the Temps, which is an, a tool to know the temperature and the forecast and Redshift GTK. And you check out what you want or don't want and just hashtag them out. I don't have it anymore. I do want my Blueberry later on but doing it here doesn't matter because we're on an ISO, but I'm just showing you what I'll do later. Just filling time. In the meantime, it's going to be installed. right -o. that's that. So two, three minutes, it's not more. And then we can have um, a restart. Before we maybe restart, I'll just stop the machine, power off. Why am I doing this? because of this thing here. So it's still in there. So I'm gonna get rid of the CD or the optical drive, the DVD, and then it's gone. And then I'm gonna restart it. And then we get the proper, oops, the proper um, look. This is the proper look. Group is going to be displayed. Let's wait a second. And there she goes. You just count ahead how long it takes Arch Labs to boot, but it's damn fast. I am at six seconds or so. First time around, you'll see Arch Labs Hello pop up. So that's the last time you'll see it. If you reboot now, it will not pop up again. Maybe it's a good thing to do that and test that. And for me, as a tester, it's important to know that I'm correct 
what I'm saying here. It only takes eight seconds. So what heck. There we are. So if you don't want to show this thing here, which I don't want to know, it's always connected. I have LAN cable, it's always okay. So don't show this message again. And we have here already an update manager. But let's make our system a bit beautiful. View a virtual screen and resize it to my size of my uh, screen. It depends uh, on, on yeah, responsibility, the response of this program. It has some difficulty uh, reacting. As you can see, we have here uh, black lines. What you do is Control F, do it again. And wait, wait, and wait, and there you go. Now it's in order. Now you can go full screen, and that's how your system will look. So here we have this hello thing here, and here we have something red. So, and this here is not correct because of our resizing of virtual box. It will not happen in the system. And let's do apply. And now it's again the way it should be. So, let's first take this one, the red one. It's the updater. You just go ahead and you apply the updates and you just type and your system is now up to date. Then this Arch Labs Hello, you can keep it there if you like. If you don't like it, you don't want to keep it there. You go to Preferences, Open Box, then to GUI. And then you edit it by double clicking this one into RC and it is in here get rid of it like so apply okay done and that's the normal look we have um, from the system all the rest I'm gonna explain is gonna be something about design and all that so I think we better stop our tutorial about virtual box right here and um, go ahead with other topics later on